hello guys in this video tutorial i shobhi khaller will show you how you can set up hasura local development on your system i am using ubuntu 16.04 as the os the instructions for setting up local hasura development can be found on this link provided by the official hasura i will provide the link in the description of this video for now let me elucidate you, to you first of all you will require the virtual box which you can easily install by clicking on this link choose the option for linux distributions as i am showing it for linux once it is done go to the next part and next part is installing hasura ctl this is as easy as it is written you just need to copy the command paste it over to your terminal and hit enter since i have already installed it so i am not repeating it once again but you just need to run it and you just need to press enter like this i have already installed it uh, for installing it on linux you need to perform this operation as it uses curl to install sorry that was not the command this has a ctl part this is not the command this is used to run it and to install it you will need to perform this command which is uh, which i have selected just copy it and uh, paste it over your terminal and it will get installed very easily and you will also need kubectl whose link is given here just follow the instructions for linux as i am doing it on linux it varies according to you just go to the linux tab again you will need curl to install this so make sure you have curl and then just copy this command and paste it over here i'm not installing it i'm not going to install the previous one i just entered a wrong password deliberately again it is very same just paste this command over here and it will install it on your system since that since any file on linux is by default not executable you need to make it, make it executable by running this command chmod changes the permissions and plus x makes it executable now you need to move it to your path and for that you need to run this command and you are done with it. now move on to the next part now you will be requiring an account with the hasura for that just go to the go to this link and create an account if you don't have one since i have one so i'm not making an account but you can make it in a minute or two now for install uh, for logging in to your account you just need to run this command it will ask for your username and password but since i have one so i'm showing it to you and voila you have logged in successfully after that you will be required to start it for that you just need to run this command when you are doing it for the first time it might take a long time because it will be installing about 1.5 images 1.5 gb of docker images so it might take a bit of time but keep patience once you are done with it your terminal will return you a new url and login credentials by which you can log in and do your development work very 
easily I won't be logging in it just I will show you the link because it's very easy just click on that link I will show you it will come up on the terminal till then let me show some more features once it is running you can easily stop it by running this command local stop and there are many more if you want to clean it run this command if you want to delete you can run this by default it is on your system only but if you want to expose it over the internet you need to do some more thing and they are very clearly mentioned over here you can add your SSH key even as you can see this starting the VM the virtual machine so make sure that you don't skip the first part because in that part only we install the virtual machine so show success I have been returned with the URL I have the username I have the password so just click on this link and fill it oh I might be having some technical glitches I'm sorry for that but uh, you will be returned with a very clear page and just log in with the username and password you are provided here and you are ready to go thank you